Kansas City School Superintendent want, wants out. Last night, Dr. John Covington stunned school board members with his resignation. But no one is more shocked or even hurt than parents. Sloan Heller is live at the school board headquarters downtown. Sloan? Good morning, Lindsay. This is huge news that came out of yesterday's school board meeting. Again, talking to a lot of parents, uh, upset, angry, and really taken off guard. A lot of them saying they just had no idea that this news was about to be broken. Uh, they say that, uh, well, we know that Covington, of course, joined the district uh, just two years ago in 2009. We know about uh, a host of changes, uh, most specifically the right sizing plan closing half of the schools in in the Kansas City, Missouri School District. Uh, but here's what we're hearing from district sources as to why Covington uh, might have put in his resignation. They're saying that he had friction between at least one board member. Um, we're still getting some more details on that. But again, this announcement came during a five o'clock school board meeting. The board then moved into a special session where they talked about next steps. And here's what parents had to say. Why? How soon? Why didn't you give anybody notice? Why didn't you talk to anybody? I mean, you can't just walk out on 11,000 kids. And then right after the meeting, just about three minutes after the announcement came from Covington, uh, longtime board member uh, Arthur Benson also announced his resignation. He said essentially, if Dr. Covington is going, I'm going with him. We'll have much more on this story throughout the morning. For now, we're live downtown. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News. All right, thank you, Sloan. Our Facebook page is lighting up with comments from passionate viewers. Web producer Aaron Hunselman is in the newsroom with this morning's Viewer's Voice. Good morning, Aaron. Hey, good morning, Lindsay. Lots of comments on this John Covington ordeal on Facebook.com slash NBC Action News. Let's see what people are saying. Rachel says, Surpri it's surprised it took him this long to realize he can't fix a decade's worth of mistakes. Jason doesn't get it. He says, so let me get this right. He comes in and closes a bunch of schools, ruins the lives of many teachers and hundreds of students and families, then just walks away and not to mention gets paid for it. That's one of the meanest acts I've ever heard of. Lynn has a little bit of a different take. She says, has anyone stopped to think there's been 35 superintendents in the same school board? Obviously, anyone who tries to do something with a drastically different approach is meeting a brick wall of resistance. Kate Dr. Covington this day and replace the board for a change. Now, we want to hear what you think. Head to Facebook.com slash NBC Action News and let us know what you think. In the newsroom with this morning's Viewer's Voice, I'm Aaron Heinzelman.